Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Remember me? Mike from Michigan. All right, man, you just live all day, ain't you? All day live, all day, Jay, all day events. <laughs> hey, man, it's like that some of the time. Yeah, welcome back, people. Welcome back. Let's get some people in. Let's get some people. Let's get some people. <laughs> Why? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, well, I'm guessing that, um, first of all, I'm Mike. I mean, shit. I'm not. Hey, are Mike. you Mike? <laughs> I, I'm, on, I'm, I'm Vince, and he's Mike. I'm Mike, yes. Uh, so today it'd be really, you know, as I always say, we're going to be in and out. <laughs> and right. uh, I guess um, we're just going to talk about today the uh, the the game and, and his tweet about relationships. I was actually just asking someone their opinion on uh, the game tweet about relationships that he had. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I heard somebody talking about something, so it came up to me asking, like, what their opinion was on the games. Just, you know, basically, you want me to just pull up his tweet? Yeah, just pull it up. Pull it up so we can do that. All right, let's pull up his tweet. So, wow. Oh. He said, uh, maybe I'm old school, but my woman ain't paying for one damn bill. No mm-hmm. rent. Not mortgage, not a car, not nails, not hair, clothes, phone, or groceries. If you're taking care of home, cooking, and effing the S out of me, life on me, period. <laughs> that's what he said. That's <laughs> free. That's free. He's pretty explicit. <laughs> uh, that's what he said. So, my, I guess, I mean, for everybody, I want to know everybody's opinion about what was said, how it was said, and if you know if they agree on it or not so let's 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 see if i could lead this kind of over to the side with us so that's the game tweet now that take out your head that's the game's tweet nobody likes me anyway hey, that's the <laughs> right now, that's the game's tweet so um give me your opinion on the game saying that the relationship is all on him first of all what do you think that does for you know, relationships in general, the game saying that um, I'm old school and life should be on. What do you think that do, does for relationships, period? Well, I, I think that it's it's got to be like that's got to be in context. So like I'm pretty sure that any woman would enjoy, you know, having a life being paid for. Right. You know what I mean? So and and, and God. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, yeah, any guy, but but in this context, it's yeah. it's, it's a woman. So I'm pretty sure any woman would enjoy having her whole life paid for. I mean that that sounds that sounds wonderful. I would assume that it comes with a level of you know what I'm saying can you know I mean I'm I'm assuming some level of control. You know what I mean? If you're not paying for anything, it comes with some level of control. You know what I mean? Which again probably would be okay if your whole life is being paid for. You know what I'm saying? I do agree with him though. I do agree with him. I agree that that should probably be as a man what you're aiming for. You know, for me, I know that that's what I'm aiming for. But I'm aiming for it in a way that my life is probably not going to be like games. Like I'm probably not going to be having, you know, six Royce Royces outside or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I'm aiming for that in my life as well to like not ever have because I've heard. Yeah, have you ever heard like. Any girl, you ever heard a girl talk about her ex man? It's horrible. You know what I mean? It's pretty bad. You know what I'm saying? You ever talk about her baby daddy, ex husband, dude she used to deal with, whatever. Like the way they talk about him is like, you know, as soon as you not with the nigga no more, it's like he's the brokest nigga on earth. He was, he was Reggie. He was so <laughs> you, you feel like doing that in a sense, it saves you from some of that. You know some of that negative talk that's gonna happen anyway because I mean even if you're not paying everything she's gonna say you're a bum you are a bum right right okay, right right, right. Yeah, that's yeah. happening yeah that's happening okay, you I could mean, be you could be paying for everything correct you know she's gonna but, girl after the relationship a girl gonna say you was a bum yeah that's 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 pretty much what it's gonna be but I, like I say for me that's the aim because I don't you know like I don't I don't know if he said that for a level of control but to me I want to be able to control my life. 
And I feel like the only way to be able to control your life is kind of you got to have those things in order. You know what I'm saying? You got to have those things in order, which means that your life can't, if you can, you got to live within your means too. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't just be out here just spending on whatever, whatever. Like if you own a house, own the house completely, have no rent, have no whatever. And then if some woman comes in, then, you know, you don't have to worry about a rent or any mortgage or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like take care of stuff before she gets there. Because again, like, just giving a woman any kind of leverage on like y'all I mean I hopefully y'all never break up hopefully y'all stay together but the way I hear women talk about their ex I've never heard a woman say anything positive about her ex you know what I'm saying and it typically goes to the nigga was broke so without getting into the whole conversation what is typically said you know and 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 if he don't say all he don't mean all <laughs> but what is what is typically said you think as guys say about their ex, what is a general a general thing that guys always say about their ex? Just just just, just side note. Just oh well, uh, she she was nagging. She was petty. She uh, she stressed him out. She, oh, so just the truth. Hey, what's going on over there? Everybody, everybody, <laughs> sit down. Just everybody, sit okay. down. Right, um, right. So. Uh, D. Winston is, is. I feel like it's a it's a, a valid question. Is that his first thought? You know, was was he making it was making the life easier, or was it just for his ego? Hmm. Was it for that control factor? Was it for him to beat on I, his chest, I or was was the actual you know you know the goal was to just like I just want to make my lady's life easier? I, I mean, like given the kind of like look, I can't speak for him because I I really don't know, but. I feel I know like for me, it, it's a it may be more of a matter of ego. It may just be a matter of ego. So you just don't want to be talked about like that. No, nah, I don't. I so don't. You, you, you're you not. It's not essentially to try to make her life easier. You just trying to your back is trying to by, by taking care of everything. You feel like you protecting your back. Yeah, I'm protecting my reputation. But I mean, but still, it is for her. She does get the benefit from it. But I just don't feel like. I, I just I don't want to be the like because I was in a relationship where I paid all the bills, and I still got talked about. So I get you. Like it's just gonna be it's gonna <laughs> be what it's gonna be. But it, it it doesn't it makes it to where it's plug in and play, and it's just you you can be you can be an author. I got two books that I made. You know what I mean? And I got two books, and I'm gonna give her a book. And I tell her to turn to page fifty seven, and she says, like, "What's on page fifty seven? I'm like, "Well, that's my page. You need to get on it." And you know, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, when I think about what you're talking about, I guess that doesn't bother me as much. I don't know why. Oh, the 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 the, the they're saying something about you when yeah, you're gone. Yeah, like them saying that I was broke or I didn't do because, like, I'd be if if they told somebody that I'd be like, well, yeah, I was broke. That's why. <laughs> I did. Yeah, like, I mean, I was broke. Like, I don't I don't mind that being the, the narrative when I don't got no money anyway. Like, I am broke. Like, that's why I I live very modestly, <laughs> and, you know, because I don't I don't have the money to to do. But but you know if I did of course it would be different but since I don't then I'm not worried about that being the narrative about me in the relationship with me oh oh he be broke yeah but I do I, be broke even even not even that I just I just think that giving get like I find that sometimes women want to flip flop between modern wife and old school wife or modern you know what I mean woman and an old school woman you know what i mean Just when, it, when it's when it's convenient for them Correct. what you do is is that you give her the option to be either or you know when you do that when you have a situation whereas house paid for car paid for you got low debt if you know if not no debt you know what i'm saying you got nice you know say money in the bank you got good investments you're good it kind of gives her the option to be either or so that you don't have to worry about forcing her into a role that she ain't necessarily comfortable with. Because if she does want to come in and actually contribute the way that you need, it, it's not a need. But isn't isn't making sure that she doesn't come in with a role that she's not comfortable with, isn't that a conversation that should be had before, you know, it gets to that point? Well, no. I, I, I feel like you should already be comfortable in whatever you're doing. You should already have stuff together. Because, like, for me... I, I don't like there's no way to there's no way to lead for me without having 
something in hand and a plan. You know what I mean? There's no, I don't, I don't know how to, how else to lead. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't tell a woman you need to get on my page if I don't have a book, if I don't have a plan, if I don't have anything in my hand. Does the plan or the book have to be completed for you to say get on my page? What if you're doing stuff that is working and gonna and and putting you in the, you know, putting you towards what you need to do? What if you you're working towards what you need to do? Can you say the book is not completed, but I still need you to be on my page. I still you need you to be with me here. Is that, can I do that? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm 100% with that. But what I'm saying is, is that have enough in hand so that your plan is, it, it makes sense. Okay. You know At least it has some momentum. Yeah, it has some don't, momentum. Don't, don't, you on stage one of a, <laughs> of a 50, 50 stage plan and you know, right. it's like, you're not going to finish that. Right, right. So if you're you know. giving her the book, let's say you're, you're at, Pay, you know, it's a hundred page book and you're on page, you know, 57. Like I said, I said 57 just to say it. But mm -hmm. if, but if you're on page 57, you already got the first few whatever is done so that it makes sense to her. You know what I'm saying? So you already got a house or you already got investments or you already have this savings or whatever, whatever the thing is. You know what I'm saying? Because it's hard to lead. Like they, they're not. I don't think that they I, I think that they want to be led, but I think the only way to lead is I mean it's is is sad, but sometimes you gotta lead with your wallet and you gotta lead with your with your actual what what you have in hand. And not literally your wallet, but you have to lead with what you have in hand. You know what I'm saying? Or else they don't understand, it. they don't get it. It's just like so I'm I'm just gonna get out of debt for what? You know what I mean? Or I'm just gonna do this for what? You know, they need a thing, you know what I mean? Because they got a life too. So they got to come in with a man and just get on his program. That's that's going to be tough. But like I, I do agree with it. And, you know, and look, I got an ego just like every other man. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I don't think that doing it for ego is wrong. I, at least I'm, I'm going to be honest about it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I'm going to do it for ego. That's just what it's going to be. I, I need, and, and for as far as like the woman saying, oh, he was broke when I was with him. Like, I don't necessarily care about that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying like. I'm 41 now. Mm -hmm. so I don't plan on like getting in and out of relationships. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So there will probably be no exes. I'm not going to, you know what I'm saying? After this, like after I do whatever I do and just get with somebody, I'm I'm probably going to be done. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to be in the in the, any uh new whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's 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 me. But I I think that what he's saying is probably more for ego anyway. Ego in control. I mean, at least it sounds like it. Mm -hmm. Or or he's just pandering. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, well. maybe he's just pandering. Like I don't feel like anybody is uh... a <laughs> What up, Earl? What up, though, Earl? What up, though, Earl? Yeah, yeah. nah, nah. But I, I you got to like I said, you got to you got to have all your your ducks in a row. You know what I'm saying? When dealing with a woman cuz you don't I mean, that's the only way to really, really lead in this situation. So, yeah. So, in your mind, in your, I mean, this is good. You not, you didn't say off, so you don't mean off. Oof. But uh, <laughs> do you? It's not. Do you think? Let me say. Not an exception to the rule, just the rule. Period. Do you think that it's feasible? for two people to not have anything and build it and grow it together? I I do think that that's feasible. But? But I just don't, I don't find 35-year-old women that want to do that. You know what I'm saying? That want to build something together. <laughs> I just don't, I don't find. So 35 plus. Yeah, I, I just don't find. Maybe. What do you, you find that 35 plus wants to be, like what you got? I want to what what I want to get on, you know what, what you got, what you got going on. I'm gonna just jump on and you lead and I follow. Right, thirty five plus, thirty five plus. I find that they want you ready made. You know what I'm saying? And that and that's fair. Ain't ain't no building nothing. Ain't no building nothing what unless you, unless unless you already got something and then you're building from from already got something. Because again, you don't have to be finished with your plan. You just have to have. The majority of your plan in order. So whatever it, if you flipping houses, at least have two houses flip. Flip house guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't don't come to her and be like, yeah, I'm gonna flip houses. It sound like the last. Oh, so you gonna flip? You gonna sell T-shirts and, and, <laughs> and you don't own Hanes. You ain't really. You know. But it's it's there's. I don't find that 
35 year old women, you know what I'm saying, want to actually just have, you know, build something with you. You know, they don't want to start from scratch. You know what I'm saying? Not to say that I'm from scratch, but they don't want to start from scratch. So you just got to have something in order already for them to actually give a damn. I mean, otherwise, and, and then it's just like, it's financial rank. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. women literally, and it's like women literally think like if you make more money than them, then you're intimidated by them. You know what I'm saying? If they make more money than you, they think you're intimidated by them already. Mm. So it's not even, it's it's like, let's just take that off the table. So that even if you make more money than me and I already own my house and I already have this and I already have that, I don't have to worry about you making more money than me or not. I just need to have enough to have my situation operate. Now, if you do find a woman that does want to build something, you know what I mean? That's wonderful. You know what I mean? But still, you got to you gotta kind of have your stuff in order. Because I mean, it's more pressure on us to actually have that. Mm. I mean, clearly, you know, yeah. what I mean? it's easily, you know, what I'm saying, supposed to, so like I say, I agree with, I agree with him, just because what else? If that's the goal, you at least, you know, what I'm saying, if you aim it for the stars, you can at least land on the moon. Mm. So, so you should be, you know, going into a, a, a relationship as far as a marriage, and and that should be your goal. Is I want the goal to whereas I can handle everything. That's not a bad thing to have in your mind. Not it's a bad not thing. a bad goal to have with the game and saying that he want to be able to. That, that they don't pay a thing, he want to be able to pay for everything. Yeah, that's, that's a, not that's a great go because in that goal, you know, even if you fall short, you'd be like, all right, baby, you gotta get you gotta get the cable bill. You gotta get the cable. Bill. Yeah, you gotta get the cable cable bill, one hundred fifty dollars. I just get the cable bill, but everything else, savings, everything else is handled. So you saying shoot for that? I like that. And yeah. then if you fall short. It's still cool. Yeah, and then when she break up with you, you a broke ass nigga. Yeah, I had to pay the cable. You know? Do you know? I had to pay the cable. I had to pay the cable bill. Do you know? I had to pay the cable bill. Do you know? I had to pay the cable bill. This broke mama. It broke. Broke in the mud. Broke in the mud. Wait, wait. No, the big house on having blue fell off the water. Yeah, it broke so. And then I had to pay the cable. The nerve. She had Barton. He had Barton cable when I met him. He had Barton. Yeah, man, you're gonna get you're gonna get what you're gonna get. So right, God, it man. is what it is. I don't anybody that um uh, has a different opinion about the games tweet, you could let me see, you could call in, or I don't know if it's gonna show up as a uh as something you can click on, but you could also video in. If if you would like, I don't know. Let's see. You guys say about the game. I don't know how it how it shows up on the thing. As, I don't know as a link. Yeah. If anybody could look into the comments, can you click on that link that I just put in the comments? If anybody could can uh, confirm or deny, if you can click on that link that I just put in the comments, and can you like because. That's how you like. That's the link to like. You don't have, just see if if you could click on it. But that does video you in. <laughs> video you in. I mean, if you're here, you're gonna be here, and we're gonna make you. <laughs> oh no, D went to said no. You can't click on it. Okay. okay. Well, I don't know how to do it. Well, I try. I try to uh, do. I try to do it here. Yeah. Send so it. send it to me. Wait a minute. This video in D Winston, you should video in D Winston. Get up and video in. We want to hear what you got to say, D Winston. D Winston. Shoot, video in. I want to hear what you got to say. Let's see what's going on here. Let's go down. Nope, it don't do it. It don't do it. That doesn't make any sense, but... Nope, don't do it. Well, D. Winston, I guess, it's, I guess I'm going to have to invite you. The link is in your inbox. <laughs> <laughs> It is in your inbox. Mr. Winston. Yeah. I really would like to hear what you got to say. Yep. There it is. So you can't say you don't have it. <laughs> if anybody else wants the link to video in, let me know. I'll send you the link to video in. Kristen, let me send you the link. Because I want. Oh, it lets you open it too? She see the link in that. D. Winston, you got a freaking. <laughs> got a, you got. You don't even got an Android. You got a flip phone. Yeah, homie. like, like, like. Kristen <laughs> said that she could open up the link. Why you can't open up the link? D. Winston got a flip phone. Is that messed up? 
Nah, come on, come on, D. Winston. Nah, come on, D. Winston. Oh, anybody? Oh, uh, anybody? What else you got? Because they know everybody's scared. Where Robert at? Where <laughs> <laughs> Robert at? Yeah, Robert, Robert at, man. Where Robert. Robert at? Everybody. Robert. But I mean, I, I, I definitely, I didn't look at it in the way of what you, um, what you just said. When I, when I saw that, I just thought, knowing who the game is. Yeah. And how the game roll. I just thought he was just crapping on the little guy. Yeah. Because, I mean, just stunting on the little guy. Because usually He's, that's what he does. He craps on the little guy. He stunts on the little guy. It says, hey, you're not getting money like I'm getting money. Right, right, right. But so, I, I think that in regular context, because, I mean, let's assume game is a millionaire. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's a millionaire. But, yeah, but in regular context, like, I would have just, I would just assume that whatever you make, you know what I'm saying, just be the master of your domain. You know what I mean? Just be able to pay for everything. And, you know, again, like if you own your own house, you know, that and you can pay all the bills in that house before she got there. There you go. I mean, it doesn't have to. Like I said, it doesn't have to be the million dollar house. It can be just the house that you can afford. You know what I'm saying? That's all it got to be. You know, all that other stuff is, you know, I mean, it's for the birds. You know what I'm saying? You never have to wonder uh, uh whether she go tell her, he bought me, I, he had bird and cable. <laughs> he, had, he stole cable. I had to pay for it. You know what I'm saying? You never have to worry about that ever in life. D. Winston, there's no need to throw shots, all right? We don't, any, any only person that can throw shots around here is me. <laughs> I'm the only person that can throw shots, man. So, oh, my goodness. But, um, yeah, anybody, call, video, because, you know, I, I, I guess... It uh, it just depends on what what you're the way you're looking at the tweet that he that he made. It depends. He, on he was probably he was probably flexing. I, I, like yeah, I, said, I, I, I just it just depends on the way you're looking at it. So yeah, he's certainly he's certainly flexing. He's a he's a flex kind of guy. You know. Wait a minute, I think Kristen still got a dog on her picture. Yeah, now, D. Winston, you could do it after Kristen, or you could do it at the same time. I think we got capabilities. Yeah, we got well, we can get people in there. You got hush. Hey, you all. You all. Oh. You all. <laughs> what you? I'm trying to put a three year old to sleep. Wow. I'm going to help y'all test your link. <laughs> I appreciate it. Look at, look at the supportiveness. Now, wait a minute. You got one boy. He, oh, I seen him grow up the whole way. He, he at least 35. But I think the Miles is Miles. He's the one who's, what's the what's the little boy now? Well, Miles is like 30, 32 himself. Oh, oh, the little one. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. yeah. I'm out here with him right now, but um, yeah, ten year old and a three year old. But about this this game quote, did you see it? Did you see mm-hmm. it? I'm talking about before we put it. Did you see it? Yes, yes. Okay, I okay. Put yeah. it on Twitter or Instagram. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. Twitter. You, Twitter. We could tell you're, you know, you're a little older because you don't do Twitter. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but um. I don't know. I think that what he said is okay if it's provided it's a good guy. I've seen a lot of guys talk that stuff and they do it to exert some level of control over the woman. And mm. so the deal would be that he would do all that, underwrite her lifestyle and whatever, but she comes home and she's dressed well and living well, but he treats her like crap. But I mean, if you have a guy that treats you well and does that, I say go for it. Now, what do you what do you think, provided that that's being done for you? Um, what do you think that your ultimate job is? Like, if that situation is being provided for you, what do you think your job is as a woman? It's a good so question. If I were the counterpart to that, I would think my job is to keep everything at in the home at equilibrium. Like okay. you said, cook the meals. The only part that worries me is the physical part because I can keep up my end of that. Only, 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 only,
I'm just messing up. You're back. Weird. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah we're back. I'm sorry. I don't know what's happening with my camera. I don't know if it got hot or yeah, maybe you need to get out of here. C- close that out. Okay. Go ahead. Finish. We're gonna we're gonna try to uh <laughs> fix it, but finish what you were saying. So I was just gonna say if if I were on the receiving end of you know all that pampering and luxuriousness or whatever, mm-hmm. <laughs> I would I would say that my end of the bargain. <laughs> Would be to keep up. The, would be to keep up the household. Oh, hey, uh, uh-uh. uh, no, no. Sorry. Oh, yeah. It would be to keep up the household, take care of the, you know, the meals and all that stuff. Sort of like what he said. The only thing I worry about is the physical part. What happens when she has a headache? He gonna hold that against her? <laughs> you know, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> because I mean, just just realistically, and I'm not, you know, I'm not talking about you. I'm just saying in general. Um, he don't get the, he don't get a day off from the things that he has to do. Yeah, you know what I mean. So yeah. There's no, there's no. So you gotta you gotta figure it out if you need to, you know, you know, tag somebody in. <laughs> you know, uh, you gotta tag somebody uh, in. <laughs> uh, hey. Hey, you, know, you gotta tag. Hey. <laughs> okay, hey, if you gotta that was tag, by the way. <laughs> if you gotta tag somebody in, if you got like a friend or something like that, not you. I'm not saying you. I'm saying in general, if you need to tag somebody in, you should probably tag somebody. A backup. In. Yeah, back up. If you if you if you headache prone, if you headache prone, and you know you got to do these things because, like Michael said, he's not going to stop providing the things that he's providing. Yeah, you're you, you still gonna thing. be your head. If you had a then you you should, you know. I mean that that that's if you're prone to migraines, you know, that that's something you gotta handle. But mm-hmm. I'm talking about I hope this is not the guy who the one time you say no, it'll be a problem. You know what I'm saying? I so, feel you. I, I feel you. I mean, I understand that. Long as long as you're not pulling the the, the, the migraine headache. You know what I'm saying? If you're not pulling that on the record, you pulling that once a week. This is a problem. Yeah, that that would be problematic. If I were a man, that that would um, yeah, yeah I wouldn't like that. And y'all got a lot. Have a lot of headaches. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me get on out. of Thank you again. I appreciate you as always. Right, get on Chris. out of here. Bye. <laughs> All right. Bye. Yes, D. Winston. Let's first. Who wears? Cut off t-shirts in 2021. Cam. Wow. Yeah. Bang bang. Yeah. <laughs> Cam. I'm gonna let him, I'm gonna let him win with that. Let I'm gonna him, let him win. He got him. a nice profile picture. He got a beautiful family. Beautiful family. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna let him live Just with Just let that. him live. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna let him get that one off. But you yeah. only get one. <laughs> you better enjoy it. You only one. get one. Please enjoy that before, one. Before before is 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 all fair, it's all game, and I can just go and say everything I want to say. Yeah, and I and I can't stop him. So I mean, <laughs> I only just let I let him do what he does. You know what I'm saying? D Winston video in. Stop trying to act. You was tough. Don't be tough and then run away and t- tuck your tail in between your legs. Goodness me. He got to get his hair together. Sex cheers headache. And I do want to know how no hair. Yeah, that's know. what I was oh, saying. Okay. <laughs> Sex does cure headaches. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> not a doctor. I'm either. not a doctor, so I can't. I can't really. So to take two of these and call me in the morning. Bang. <laughs> uh, so. Take a Motrin and get to work. Yeah, take a Motrin and get to work. That is what it's about. Definitely take a Motrin and get to work. <laughs> Girl, y'all clowning. <laughs> you can have a headache if you want. That's not the only thing. Uh, it's going to be banging. Man, nah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. When you looking at you like you bugging, man? You bugging, man? This nigga be thinking that type of shit is funny. That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. I usually roll with you, man, but uh, you know, <laughs> a little much, a little much. Oh my goodness! That does what? Well, okay, hey, what else does sex cure? <laughs> what else does sex cure? Is the idea. What else does sex cure? Then cancer. Uh, well, <laughs> since, since we going there, yeah, let's see. Let's see. What <laughs> else does sex? Uh, yeah, cure? like what else does sex cure? Let's see. Let's get to get some cures. I I I, I think it cures. I think it's the answer or solution to a to a to an argument. You think that sex is a what? 
<laughs> did you just say? What did I just say? You think that that's the solution to an argument? A little spat? A little, Sex? Yeah, like a little spat. A little one. We looking at you like you bugging, man. man just, <laughs> you bugging, man. This nigga be thinking that type of shit is funny. Not, not a big blowout. Not like a big, you know what I'm saying? Like if she... Yeah, it's... It, Irritability, yeah. Like if you a little irritated by your by your spouse, you a little irritated by her, or she a little bit irritated by you. I don't think that sex cures an argument. I mean, it depends. I mean, of- I mean, if the if the argument is about not having sex, <laughs> then, then 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 yeah. sex cures the argument. But yeah, if, if the, I true. mean, that's the that's the only <laughs> reason why I would feel like <laughs> sex would cure an, an argument. I don't think I think like you can have sex and the argument is about something. But when you wake up the next morning, that problem is still going to exist and be there and still going to need to be handled. Period. I just feel like what now, now, now you go, now you can sleep. You can have a good night's sleep. I think you, you should. You can have a good night's sleep. You could doggone not bring that energy into the bedroom. But I don't think sex cures an argument. I think that the argument is still going to exist. Well, I, I guess I, I guess I worded it around there. I think that it helps you to go to your neutral corners and come back to the argument. Okay. Yeah, yeah. because because yeah, usually sex is not you not you know you know arguing, arguing or, or, right. or with each other. It's it's a together thing. So that gives everybody a chance to kind of put their put the gloves down, put the, you know, put the dukes down. Yeah, take the and gloves then, off. Yeah, and then chill out, and then we'll get back to it tomorrow. Yeah, we'll get back to it. So you so you can, because some people have some, in some relationships, they have the rule that they don't go to bed upset with each other. Mm-hmm. So you can not be upset. I mean, it's going to be a good night's sleep if you're doing it right. Sex, are you talking about? Sex, yes, sex, sex, not the argument. <laughs> and not the argument. If you're arguing, there's no right way to argue. I mean, well, a good way... To, I, it's some bad ways to argue. Like, don't deflect. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay, <laughs> just if you just just as a thing, if you were thinking that deflecting was a good thing to do, it's not. It's just it's a bad thing to do. You know what I'm saying? And you know, if I didn't say all, oh, you know, why you? do women do this, Michael? Why do women do what? Why do women withhold sex as a punishment? Uh well that's when you don't have anything any leverage in the relationship. You know what I mean? You know, like that that's as a as a well, I don't want to say too much, but yeah, that's when you don't have any that's when you're not paying any bills and you don't like have any other leverage in the relationship. So you think if you're not paying any bills, you're not doing nothing, then then you can use sex as a leverage in the relationship. Yeah, I mean and, and I I think Go ahead. That if you're not doing anything and not paying any bills and, and and I'm paying for everything and you dare to try to hold sex, you're putting your you're putting your your spot. You really really putting it on a you know you putting yourself on the, on the, on the, on the hot seat. Yeah, to get you're out putting, of here. You putting your like, whole like thing in not, jeopardy because I, like if you're just here and I'm paying everything and all I need you to do is cook, clean, and, and sex, and you're going to try to withhold it because you're upset. It's like no problem. You you you're very replaceable. Certainly. I don't think. Yeah, I don't. I, I think that in that particular situation, I think that females are like like if you just a you know an mm. NBA wife or something like you know. I, I feel like in them not 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 all NBA a wives, of course, not all. If I don't say all, I didn't mean all. Because <laughs> some of these girls come up, you know, come up with a guy. But if you just a trophy wife, you know, athlete's wife, because and I don't do nothing sit at home anyway. And then you like, I ain't gonna get you none. It'd be like. Huh! Yeah, but but then some of these guys like like the, the the prospect of losing half your stuff is really just not, you know what I'm saying? Like it's still it, it still is what it is. Like you can still lose, lose half your stuff if you get rid of her. Even well, you- I, but but I feel like I can. But I feel like first of all, if you're a if you're the one of these type of trophy wives or trophy women that I just got, I got my paperwork together because I was already rich before you. Oh, okay. So I I, I did that yeah. because of who you are and who I was. Yeah, I already got my paperwork together. Right. right so right. so in in the instance that I don't have my paperwork together, you can leave if you want and get half. I'm going to continue to make money 
and that's fine. Do what you got to do with the money that I gave you, but that's fine too. Or, or I'm not going to do anything. You're not going anywhere. I'm about to go have sex, but you're not going anywhere. <laughs> you stay right there and you, <laughs> and you miserable. think about what you've done to me. You think about what you've you think about what you done. I'm about to go have sex without you. Oh so I'm just saying I don't think that that is the point that where they have the leverage. Yeah, and maybe more, maybe more so if you 50 50 in it. Correct. That, that makes a little bit more sense. Correct. You know what I'm saying 50 <laughs> 50 in it, but that's just, but as a as a punishment, that's pretty lame. I mean, and, and, you know, I'm talking about. I mean, well, at any age is lame. I mean, it, it's at least understandable if you're in your 20s, because you know it's 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 childish, but at 35, you know, 38, if that's what you're doing at this point, you know, you, you corny. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see. My ex taught me a lot about man when it comes to sex. Get to it so you can avoid the drama. That's pretty, that's pretty much it. Do it. Do it <sighs> early and often. But I don't think that that, you, you don't, can't think that that's all you need to do to avoid the drama. That's, that's so, I, I no. No, it's not. No, it's not, not even but, close. But this is the thing. and I, I've heard this a few times. Sex is never a problem in a relationship until it's bad or it doesn't exist. Correct. So don't make Correct. that a problem. Yeah because, that, yeah. because realistically, the top two things that relationships end or marriages end on money and money sex. and sex. Mm -hmm. So you don't want them two things to be an issue, which is why I'm saying for me, take the money off the table. That's really, you know, that's really actually my first point. Just take the money as an issue off the table. Take it off the table. Just have everything in order so that come time for you to like, there's no issue. I was living this life before you got here. You know what I'm saying? The house is paid for. The car was paid for. You know what I'm saying? I was out of debt. I had a good savings. I had this, that, and the third. Like I had all everything done. Not anything I get is now gravy. You ain't got to do nothing necessarily. But at the same time, you know, you got to do this. And it's until those things are a problem. Like money will never be a problem. You got two people working. You know what I'm saying? The average man and the average woman, you know what I'm saying, make, you know, black man and black woman make 42 and 38. That's 80,000. Just if you're average people, that's 80, that's a middle class home. So, of course, you know what I'm saying? That's not an issue unless y'all, you know, snort Ajax or something like that. But well, who, okay, I'm, just, my ex says the three H's hungry, horny, and hair. I don't get the hair part. Saying that he's going to be hungry. Okay. He's going to be hungry. Okay. And he wants hair. I don't know what I don't know what the H the do with the hair. Yeah, I I don't but I don't think am I wrong to say or to think that it is deeper than just like, cause I hear you say, like, it's simple. We're simple. It's simple to our book is not that long. It's not a. It's not. It's a pamphlet. It's like it's simple, but I don't think I'm that simple. I think that what I want is is. Um, I think that it's not that simple. I feel like if it was that simple, then obviously I can get it anywhere and even from anybody, and that's not true. I don't feel like it's simple to to to. You know, the the whole communication, the whole learning someone. And I don't think that all this stuff is I don't think that it's as simple as, you know, sometimes it's made like hair, you know, you know, hungry hair and horny. I don't think it's that simple because because what just just put up with air like it's a, it's a lot of BS in between that. Whole but, thing. but but if this is the thing, I mean, I think what's implied is that you don't bring no drama. You know what I mean? I think that's implied. Like as a as a woman that you don't also so you don't have to say the don't be on the bull. Yeah, yeah that's implied. That should be implied. Okay, okay, I mean, okay. Because like, again, okay. making us happy. Like if you're not bringing any drama and you're cooking my, I already love you. I mm -hmm. already love you, and you're not bringing in any drama. You're making sure that you know what I'm saying. My meals are cooked. You're making sure that I'm sexed. To completion, and I'm Sex good. Sex to completion. You know what I'm saying? And I'm good. If you if you don't complete it, it's not sex. But go ahead. <laughs> call it call it making a sandwich. Uh, and whatever you want to call it, it ain't sex if you don't finish. You, yeah, you, nah. you, you know, yeah, you go in and out, in and out, in and out, and then you just stop ah. and you just go to the bed, and then it's over with. That's not sex. It's not sex. I agree. <laughs> okay. I agree. But no, if you're if you're making sure that sex is taken care of, and you're making sure that you know. 
the stuff around the house is taken care of and i already love you and we already have a pretty good relationship without any of that stuff like kind of you know the relationship is i'm all set i'm all set like you're about to be mrs perkins like i'm all set if i like you already or but it's but, implied that is no drama yeah it's implied like you know what i mean it's implied like all that you know you know he's just my friend garbage or whatever that women bring to the yeah but, but like you but you, you're saying that and, and and byron saying that uh men are definitely simple you're saying that we're simple when you know all of the all of, like you said the no drama you're not out here being stupid you're not yeah, yeah, and and, and I'm and it's like I, I'm pretty but, sure they know what it is that we we want because we've been saying it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I think it's pretty e like like our wants, our needs are pretty easy to hit. You know what I'm saying? Like I, if you don't give, if you don't want to give that to a man, you don't like him, or you're just being a jerk. You know what I'm saying? Their book is pretty. It's the Encyclopedia Britannica. <laughs> Simple knees. It, wait a minute. I think we got another. We got a, <laughs> another video in there. This is what I'm talking about, baby. Right, right. And I'm Byron. I'm about to send you the link too. I want. I want all the smoke. Want to hear what y'all got to say? How do I get D. Winston in here? Yep. Oh, what's going on, <laughs> D. Winston? What up, Mr. Look, Winston? look. I don't care about your Barack Obama backdrop. I don't care about none of that. Don't come over here trying to get sympathy with Barack Obama in the background. <laughs> Man, I don't need no sympathy from y'all. <laughs> if I need sympathy, I look in the dictionary. Okay, okay. 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 Tough guy you are. Okay. Yeah, All right. All right. Tough, tough guy. <laughs> y'all over here having conversations, and I'm just listening to the conversation, trying to enjoy it. You said call in, video in. I did it. I, ain't I appreciate it. So, so, so you're married. By the way, yes, I the am. last time I checked, I don't want to. <laughs> no, I am. Okay, I'm cool. out here with I'm out here with these single problems that y'all talking about. That's what I'm, I'm saying. So you, uh, you got a you got a different perspective. Obviously, looking at us and and saying like, dang, like what what's more shocking to you? Looking on that side, seeing what we're talking about, what's the most shocking thing to you that you say in your mind? Like, wow, that that be going on now? Or what's different from when you? I mean, if anything, maybe you just like, no, nah, that's the same stuff that went on when I was out there. That's why I found somebody that I have to be out there no more with. If anything, he's a he's a genius, by the way. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, when I got married, me and Tracy were both working, so mm -hmm. it, that wasn't a dynamic, but. When we had kids, her job got relocated to New Jersey. She's she like, we ain't moving. So she's not working and I'm paying all the bills. Mm -hmm. And so that's our current dynamic, you know, and it's like, it is what it is. And, you know, I, she misses working because she used to making her own coin. She like, you know, I'm used to making my, being able to do what I want to do. And it's, so that dynamic makes it interesting because, you know, she was single for 30 some years, making her own money. And now it's just like, we got a joint account. She looking like, well, can I use the money in a joint account? I'm like, yeah, you can. But she's still feeling like I want to have my own money that I can go out here and do what I need to do. So that dynamic but is. Even though you're making it like, look, this is just as much as your money as it is mine. You can do whatever you want. It's just that's her. Not real. Still, huh? That's not real. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're making it that. But she still feels like, look, I still want my own money. I still because obviously if you're making the money and, and you have two small children in a in a big eight footer uh yeah. obviously if you're if she's taking care of them at home like that is tremendously helping you out like yeah. like ridiculously yeah. so like like I, but it, like you said if she's so used to doing this for 30 years and she can't see how the value in doing that is is way more than her yeah. going to get a job and bringing 50 60 thousand dollars in the household then I, it's it's if you can't relay that message then i guess you just in a situation where you like yeah. Yeah. kind of so so it probably make more sense for you to as the children get older get her back in the job no matter what it is so she can feel to where she's she's more comfortable making her own money and doing her own thing i'm like you gonna make 200k i stay at home with the kids with an apron on <laughs> hey, let's switch baby yeah, let's switch my goodness. i've been so making, making, making baking cakes oh, you were, you, were, you it wouldn't bother you huh <laughs> you baby baby can i have a little money for a haircut <laughs> thank I you <laughs> ah, 
<laughs> right. I'll be what? a full-time host with y'all. I'll be here every day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby, I'm going on, I'm going on the podcast with Mike and Vince. Is that okay, baby? <laughs> Everything is cooked and stuff. The kids are in bed. <laughs> right. Today, right. kicking right. it with y'all. What do you what do you find is her major issue? Um, if you can be honest about it, what is her major issue with just with not working? Is it just is it just the not having her own money part? It's not having her own money, but not feeling like she's adding value to the household. You know, what like Vince was saying, you know, even though she's taking care of the kids, you know. Some people feel like if you're not making money, you're not adding value to the household. No matter if you're taking care of two kids, four kids, 35 kids, it's like you're not making money. And that's a determinant on your value. You know, I see your face, Vince. I agree. But and I, no, no, I mean, with that, 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 that's just crazy to me when you can't, you know, you could make all the money in the world. But if the house is just if, if my, my, if my children aren't you know, clean or fed or mm -hmm. the house is just falling apart. It's just like dishes everywhere. Like that's that, that, that sent that'll drive me more crazy than a clean house and me trying to figure out how I'm going to pay my light bill. Yeah. <laughs> right. 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 Yeah, but you know, so society's different though. I mean, you know, you see these women and you see I'm independent, you know, I'm a black woman. I'm out here doing this and you look around like, womp, womp, womp. I'm just watching these kids. I mean, it's that, you know, it's that pressure sometimes to feel like you're not complete if you're not making money. Or you got to go ask your husband for some money. Or you got to go, well, you, it's that mindset that, you know, a woman's mind sometimes gets crippled by that because they don't see the value in making sure everything's cool. I mean, it ain't even the cooking and the cleaning. It's just making sure that, you know, not having to pay for two kids in daycare. That's about $5,000 a month. Like, mm. Yeah, that's, so. that's what I was now, did you to say. Now, did you say some or all women? Because... <laughs> you say some or all? Who? You didn't say some. No, I'm not answering that question. I oh, didn't know what you God. said, yeah, man. I didn't I know what he said. Man. I was oh, do, I didn't know. Do you do you find that the end? Like I find the independent, strong black woman don't need no man thing to be very detrimental. Myself, like I just think it's an ideology that is plagued. Uh, I mean, like how how much older than Vince are you? <laughs> Who, me? Yeah. yeah. I thought you, I you just ask him how old he is. I'm, like I'm like two days older than Vince. I thought I was much older than him back in the day when he was in, in college. I'm two days older oh. than him. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah. Okay. So you're you're 80s, right? He was born in the I'm, 70s. He was not yeah. born in the 80s. I'm Negative. 45. I'm 45. <laughs> okay. So I can say our generation. You know what I'm saying? Right. You find that it's like that ideology has played in ultimately like messed up like it, it do you find it to be detrimental that ideology the strong black woman don't need no man do you find that thing to be detrimental because like for real for, for real for real your wife i i would think that your wife would be ultimately like super duper okay with that idea super mm -hmm. duper like you're, you're the freaking husband by the way it ain't like you like a pimp and you got other yeah you're other, not other, you're, you know you're working only, women like, like you're you, her you are, only husband yeah, like, <laughs> like you're her freaking husband like you should be okay with your husband taking care of you like i married you you married me right <laughs> you find yeah. it to be mental though i mean i think that the issue is there's a whole bunch of black women out here angry <laughs> because they're wow. angry. A whole bunch, not yeah. all. I mean, but just a whole bunch. <laughs> I mean, and so the issue is they they have a voice and they speak about you don't need a man. You can do this on your own. And so that kind of resonates in the mind of black women sometimes. And they don't even want to look for a on their level black man. They gotta find a black man who ball and who could be like, you know, like a Y'all talking about here, pay for everything. Okay. It's just like, you know, you making 60, I'm making 45. It's like, no. Nah. It's just like, well, shoot, well, I got to be making 105 and you make it. So it's that whole dynamic of people don't want to meet in the middle and grow nothing. It's like, you got to have it. Like you was talking about, Mike, I, in your mind, you like, I got to have 57 pages of the book done already. That's yeah. just, you know, to have that type of mindset, not saying this, you know, I'm saying this, what it is, what it is, but just to have to think like that. You know, that's not that's not old school. Old school back in the day, you know, a man would come with a house, the woman would come with 
some groceries and they would build everything together. It wouldn't yeah. be like it is nowadays when you gotta have two cars, you gotta have all this. It's just it's just messed yeah. up the way that they and, and you could make a lot less per like per capita or per uh uh the cost of living. That's what I'm trying to say. Per the cost of living, you can make a lot less and stretch it a lot longer. Like people, people only have two point three kids on average nowadays. It wasn't like that before we was born. Like people had, you yeah. know, the Wu Tang Clan. Yeah, it was definitely <laughs> it was, the rich and the jizz. It yeah, was all old dirty right, bastards. It was right, all old dirty bastards. <laughs> Capadonna too. Yeah, like they had the whole Wu Tang Clan. It'd be nine. Like everybody has nine. You know what I'm saying? Aunts and uncles. Like that's just ridiculous. But it's just like nowadays we have less kids. We make maybe more money, but it's just life. I think it's just you know the I the, the modern way of living is just so stupid expensive. And two, I think it's I don't really think that it's like women, all women. I think it's like a strong because when you hear it, it's it's strong independent black woman don't need no man. It's not strong independent white women. Yeah, I never or heard Mexi <laughs> or Mexican woman. Yeah, don't I need never no hear that. Deep listen. That's all I'm saying is that I never hear that. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm not trying to say nothing. Not trying to say all, but I'm, I'm just not. Saying. But but when I hear strong independent, I, I definitely it says black. Yeah, and then also too with that, like I don't like you know saying submit is like a curse word. I hopefully we don't get flagged. <laughs> we then you bullying. You know they take people off of Facebook for bullying. Oh uh, man, he said what you her words some submit. Oh, we submit. shut down. Right, shut right, it on. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> submit is like a curse word, and I don't think like. I don't I haven't found that if you don't have your finances in order that a woman is willing to submit in the same capacity she will for a guy who's making six figures or has everything together. Like it's just it's tough. Not fair, but 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 true. And, 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 it's, and that but that's the thing. I don't want it to be fair. I'm fine with that. I am fine with that. But if I do, here's my book. You know what I'm saying? I'm on page 67 or whatever. You need to get on my page and, you know what I'm saying, you know, comment on that. My nigga. <laughs> you know, but that but that independent, like I say, it's it's plagued black woman because it's separated. It's like you're married and I'm very happy for you that you've been married because you've been married for a minute now. Uh, coming up on six years. Six years. Six years. Wonderful, man. Mm -hmm. Many more. Many more. Mm -hmm. Like we're not getting married like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like black people ain't really getting married like that. So that like average number that I gave, like. The 42 average income for a black men and 38 average income for black women. It's just like together, that's 80. It's a middle class family. That's a pretty good family. You know what I'm saying? Most of us didn't come up in middle class households. Most of us came up in, you know, you know, I'm from Detroit. You know what I'm saying? So it's just not that great of a situation. So I mean, it would be ideal for two people to come together with their average income to build something. But like I, I just you don't you don't find unless unless she's already under the average, if she's making like twenty thousand, then she's like, "We need to get together and build something." But you ain't got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you want to build something with my something? You ain't got nothing. <laughs> nah, man. But Big Winston, man, we appreciate you, man. Thank you for coming on here, man. Oh, when my wife start making his money, I'm gonna be the third. I'm gonna be the third wheel on the show, y'all. Just hey, man. Hey, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome, man. Come on, come on, Insta. We get another mic, another chair, or or. I'll just kick Michael off the show. You come on down. Oh, <laughs> Michael, come on Michael down. Keep the show afloat, man. If it went I know, I know. It's, 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 it's Mike and Vince. It's Mike so first. Nobody like Vince. Nobody <laughs> like Vince. That's what I'm saying. Uh, all right. Hey, hey, all right, D. Winston. Right, yeah. All right, later on. Man, well, that was um, very... Um, Inform informative, informative. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it is cool to have a married guy. At least you know a married guy we know. Yeah, we don't yeah. Use, we don't usually do that. We don't usually, yeah, I, we don't I, usually I, allow those people. They're negative. No, <laughs> we these love negative married neg people. Negative married people. <laughs> all talking about all happiness and, and stuff. loving each other and taking care of his wife and kids. Oh, and, oh. I'm oh, my goodness, jackass. <laughs> <laughs> really, <laughs> and I bet you he loves her. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, but that's wonderful, man. That's wonderful. Six years, six years. I remember the days of being married. It was, yeah. <laughs> what was it? Like, don't stop. What? What was it? Man, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't fun. <laughs> it wasn't fun. How, how, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. How? I'm gonna get out of here because I got stuff to do. Yeah. How long were you married, Michael? Uh, seven and a half years. How long was it not fun? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. 
<laughs> How long was it not fun? Ah, uh, about four years. Four years. Four years. So that how many would you you the mathematician? How many years does that leave of funness? That's three and a half. So fun for three and a half. Yes. And now are you talking about from the day of marriage? From the day of marriage. Now we were together for, for Yeah, I'm talking about from the day of marriage to th- three and a half. Obviously, the four is on the back end. The four is is some middles. Oh, so you you would go year one and then you two, oh, this is bad, it's not fun, and then year three is fun and like that. Yeah. So you just putting everything together. Yeah, I, I would say about I would say around a good four was were just not good at all. So most of the marriage. Most of it was pretty bad. Most of it was pretty so, bad. So <laughs> so after that first year being good and the second year being bad, obviously I could we could say what was done in the second year wasn't a deal breaker because you stayed inside of the relationship. Yeah. But what what ultimately happened? Did a deal breaker happen or is this ultimately the the amount of bad years adding up just said uh, or did it was it abrupt was it a deal breaker type thing? It was it was it was some deal breakers in there, but I I, I mean took, you can't say it was deal breakers in there and you didn't break the deal. Then they're not deal breakers. You're correct. <laughs> so so it was accumulation. It was a, it was it was an accumulation of things. Okay, okay. It was an accumulation okay. of things. Okay, so yes. it wasn't a deal breaker. Nah, nah. Okay. I guess. <laughs> I mean, Jesus I, what you <laughs> what do you want me to do, yeah, man? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, you're, but you're you're right. You're right. It's not a deal breaker if I didn't if I didn't, <laughs> if I didn't jazzy Jeff her the hell out of the house. Then I you know I guess it's not a deal breaker. You know what I'm saying? No. So so Byron Byron say for better or worse though. So he's saying for the worst. He's saying he's saying them three them four worst years them four years that was bad. You you signed up for those along with the good ones. I'm just saying that's what he's saying. Be, I'm not trying to say. B, you're not wrong. You're right. I don't I don't have any I don't have any. You're right. I'm wrong. So you copped out. Yeah, I did. So you broke a, a agreement. That was a agreement. That was a that was a legal document that you broke. I didn't. I didn't break it. <laughs> oh, well, if, if I didn't file, you didn't file for divorce. No, I thought you filed. I didn't file first. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. So you didn't break it. Okay, well, there, there that was is. That was a good guy. That was a good guy. That is. Jesse Jeff. Jesse Jeff, yeah. Fresh Prince. Oh. Amen. Amen. Jesse Jeff, though, that's, that's you know, that's when you're throwing them out. I don't know if you understand that. <laughs> the reference. Nah, I nah. know. I'm sorry that I did that to him, Tawana. That was uh, unexpected. You see his, yeah, <laughs> his whole demeanor changed. Yeah, man. He was a little Jesus different. Christ. My bad. My bad. I, I kept it clean. I kept those questions pretty clean, though, Tawana. You got to yeah. give it to me. I didn't get nah, to particular. She, she watching. <laughs> no, you screwed, but yeah, yeah, I nah, kept screwed, the I'm stuff screwed. general though. I would never do you like that, man. Would never do me like that. I would never do you. I'm like gonna answer the question. That's the crazy thing. Yeah, that is really crazy because <laughs> guess what I would have told you? <laughs> mind your mother, I, I, mind I, your mother, I, I would have I would have unplugged everything <laughs> and just <laughs> taking everything out. Man. You crazy? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? <laughs> Took all this stuff out of here. Really? Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, she's watching. Whatever. I I have to hey, man. explain it. <laughs> oh goodness! Yeah, I but, didn't think that you would agree with game. Nah, I, I do agree with. Him. I agree with him. I agree with him for the reasons that you know. What I'm saying some of the reasons that my uh, my marriage probably didn't work out. <coughs> mm. He was ducking. I was my. He was ducking, but I was giving it to him. <laughs> oh no, no, no! Shoot, nah. Earl said he was he was out after two years. Jeez. Who broke that contract, Earl? You or her? You are, I mean, eighty percent of it is is, is oh, black women. Who broke that contract, Earl? I need to know. Eighty percent of it is black women for the most part. So I'm I'm betting on her. You got trapped and freed yourself. Be proud. I mean, or that, <laughs> <laughs> or that. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Get out. Yeah, nah, or that. You know what I'm saying, shoot. She's watching though, so <laughs> thank you. you. Keep, <laughs> this is my last. This is gonna be my last episode. <laughs> hey, man. Shoot, I, cause I, cause I believe that I should get half of that podcast. Because <laughs> they mentioned me. Yeah, I should half get half of the, the podcast. How much is the podcast yeah. worth? Nothing. Hey. So zero divided by. That's all right. The next two. next episode. 
It's going to be me and her. <laughs> you think that was, you think the, the questions was awkward. The next episode, <laughs> me and Michael's ex-wife. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, she got half of the podcast. She, the I, she couldn't get my half, so, you she know. She get my half. I'm and, still, you know, right, that's right. messed up. <laughs> <laughs> pretty jacked up as jacked up goes. What, is, what did Christian say? 11 years and uh yeah oh. I, I, I i always um you know yeah. prayers and everything yeah. goes out to you i mean dealing with a, a tough situation yeah it's very tough so we can get out of here all right thank Later you on.